hi, well, welcome to part two of the Twitter for Beginners um, series. My name is John Young. You can find me at johnyoungblog.com or you can follow me on Twitter via John Frankie J. Now, in the previous video, I went through the basics of Twitter and talking about your timeline and, and mentions, retweets, searches, lists. And in this one, I want to talk more about your particular profile and your tweets um, and your favorites um, and who you're following, um, your followers, uh, and more about the lists. Um, so an extension of what we talked about, plus a little bit more about um, private messages. So to show you how you can do this, I'll show you what um, what I've done on mine. Now, where I've started here today is the, uh, the timeline, the wall. If you want to access your profile or information, you can click on profile. Um, alternatively, if you're back on that page, you can click on your tweets. So that's going to take you to the same same area. So on this page, um, we have the, my picture, my um, uh, logo, if you will, or, my, or me, um, which comes up in all of my tweets, as you'll see. Um, you have my Twitter handle with my actual name. Um, and I've included my location. I'm on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria, Australia. Uh, plus a, a brief description um, about me. So what this is doing is if you click on somebody's profile, you get to read quickly about what that person does. And then it, it gives you a bit of an insight before you read their tweets um, on who they are. Including a link to your website is very important. Um, if someone wants to find out more information about you, then this is a very handy place um, you know, for them to then click through. All right, so if we have a look through here, these are all of my tweets that I have put through. So earlier today, um, I actually made mention of uh, the fact that I'm doing some, some videos. So that was a couple of hours ago that I actually wrote that. Um, so I'm looking at my timeline of the tweets that I've created. And you could do this for anybody else. You could um, click on somebody else's profile and you could see th their tweets. So in here it gives you the time of when it was done this is um, this is a handy link when you um, when you see a post and you want to just save that just that content of that post or direct someone to that post you can click on that time when it was created and it will take you into um, just into that direct message and if you see up the top you can highlight and then copy that message then what you can do is you can share that with other people so rather than saying, go and check out John Frankie J's timeline, he mentioned something about um, having a busy afternoon making videos, you can link directly to that post. So if we go back to that, all, all I did there was um, on the actual specific post, I clicked on the time, that left hand um, down the bottom underneath the post. And you can do the same with the other ones. So once you click on that time, it actually gives you, um, you know, a direct link to that um, to that tweet, and then you can just go off and use that. Um, you know, let's say for instance, somebody, someone famous has made a tweet that you think is worthwhile um, using in your um, in your blog post. Then what you could do is copy that link and put that in your blog post so that. What you're doing is you're linking directly to that status update. You're linking directly to what that person has said. Um, it, here is my favourites. So when we talk about favourites, we talk about um, a tweet that I have seen that I think is worth saving for future. So on June 29th, um, again, if I click on that link, you can actually go directly to that um, to that uh, post. Uh, I actually hit the favorite button. So where the, where the favorite button is, if I look at my tweets, you can go down here and you see favorite. So if you see something and think, Re I really like that post, maybe it's, um, it's a post to uh, interesting information. Um, so this one here by Trevor, um, I, I thought was excellent because it's linking directly to nine companies doing social media right and why. So for me, I refer back to that and I have a look at what those companies have done and um, I always want to come back to that tweet so that I'll, I'm sort of storing that as a bookmark. So you can favorite tweets and if you want to unfavorite them, you just click on the unfavorite. 
Uh, you can then also retweet again in the previous video I mentioned about retweeting so all you're doing is you're resending that tweet to your followers uh, or you can reply to that message if you like you can extend that message out um, and, and blow it out there and you can find out more information you can see where it's come from it was via Facebook um, I have favorited it you can also see with that um, that you know corner that star in the corner that means I've favorited it um, if you look at my following, here is um, here is all the people that I have chosen to follow, and uh, I've found these people in various ways. I've either gone to their website and I've seen that there's a follow button. I've either looked for them directly on Twitter. I've found a Twitter list and decided to follow them. And I'll explain more about how to follow it in a future video. But these are all the people that I follow and it gives me the choice to, if I click on this I'll unfollow this person um, but I'm not going to do that at the moment but if all you have to do to unfollow someone is just click on that uh, here you have um, next to it you have more options um, you can directly mention that person um, in a in a tweet um, this is good for new followers that you find um, or new people that you choose to follow because when you follow people it's always good to mention them um, maybe you mention them in a post reply to something uh, a, me a message that they've created a in doing that what you're actually doing is creating some engagement straight away so rather than just following them what you're doing is acknowledging them you've seen a post replying to it or you're making mention to them and providing some value that's the aim provide some value to them don't just mention people for the sake of mentioning them don't send them a link just to a, a website because it, it means nothing to others if if you started following me um, but didn't connect with me then I'm not really going to know you're there because I don't religiously check um, my, my followers list but if you mention me I will see that and I will probably click on your profile and I'll probably have a look at what you do if you include only a link and don't give an explanation as to what that is I'll actually think you're spam so don't just put at John Frankie J and then a link I'll think that's spam so it's good to introduce yourself in some way something like um, if you were writing to me for instance you could be uh, hey at John Frankie J I really like those Twitter videos that you put up on YouTube or something like that adding to the list is when you've already created a list and uh, I'll explain how to do this in a minute but when you've actually created a list you can add people to those lists you go in to each person or you know through your list here you open up that menu I'll just quickly do that again so you open up that drop down and add to list and then you select the list that you have created that you want to add those to. So um, PB event is the pro blogger event in uh, October 2011 and anyone that I uh, am following that is attending that list I can add to, to, um, to that list. Um, also in this drop down here I could block Peter Kim um, I'm not going to but if um, if there was somebody that uh, I decided that was um, maybe harassing me or I, I didn't want um, to be associated with and, um, and and really wanted to block I could click this or report uh, for spam if I was concerned about bots or apps app spam and what they are bot is when um, someone is just continually posting some you know posts you know links um, where they're not actually physically doing it they've automated a service um, and it's what it's doing is it's finding relevant things and posting it direct to their Twitter feed there's quite a lot of bots um, around to me they don't show real engagement because social media is about being social I think if you're going to do it have a limited amount um, but let people know that you're going to do that as well and I can explain more of this in, uh, in an upcoming video um, so if I wanted I could report for spam uh, if enough people report for spam then um, that person would get blocked by Twitter now if you look at the tweets button what this is is all the people that I'm following these are their tweets now this is really handy if you actually look up somebody else's profile then rather than um, you going along a, a, and following each and every person to see what their tweets are you can click on the tweet stream so let's say for instance okay if I go into styling you and I open up that person's full profile then I can go in and see um, who their uh, 
that view the, the following timeline. So you go into the um, following timeline, and I'll actually see all the tweets um, from the people that Styling You is following. So essentially, I'm looking at you know her wall or her timeline. Um, you can do that with anybody you like. You might see something that you like and decide, well, that's you know that's what I want to do, and um, oh, sorry, that's who I want to follow from those people, and you can make a selection from there. So you've got the list that you've created. Um, I did it. I have mentioned these briefly. If you want to create your own list, you can have, have as many lists as you like, and you can you know name it, uh, and then put it. It's good to have a, a, a description. Uh, and then you choose if it's public or private. If you look at the PB event list, um, I've named it PB event 2011. Then I'll put a short description, attendees of the ProBlogger event, uh, ProBlogger training day 2011, and then a link to the actual, um, to the site. Um, so um, the next thing I wanna just touch on is messages. Now messages, um, you've got direct messages. So this is separate to mentions. So if you look at, I'll quickly go back to mentions. Mentions are in the public space, when someone mentions you publicly. Um, so I can see that post, and so can um, the person who wrote it, their followers. Um, uh, or anyone that searches on um, my Twitter handle. If you go into search and type John Frankie J, then it would show uh, everyone that's mentioned me. So a mention, which is the at followed by the handle, is a public thing. A direct message is the private messages that you go between people. So if you look at this, I could send a private message, and this is just Twit Cleaner. This is just a, a service that I use to um, just check feeds or check tweets and make sure that um, the people that I'm following are worthwhile following. Um, and what I could do is, I could, these are private conversations that, um, that, that happen. You, but they can only happen with the people where you've got a reciprocal follow. So if I'm following you, you need to be following me so that we can direct message each other. You cannot send a direct message to somebody who um, you're not following, or if they're not following you back, uh, you also, so you've got to have that link there to be able to, to do that. All right, look, if you've got any questions about um, you know this, what I've talked about today, I'd love to hear them, uh, and just ask them in the comments section below. I also request that you sign up for my newsletter via johnyoungblog.com, and that way you'll gain access to all the latest content and more videos and tutorials like this, and you'll be the first to hear about them. Uh, also, if you'd like to follow me, my Twitter handle is johnfrankieJ, um, you can also ask me any questions you like on there. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on, the, uh, on part three in a second.